Children aged 9 through 23 months who are at increased risk of meningococcal disease can safely receive the meningococcal vaccine. Why was it important to conduct this vote today? So today's vote for meningococcal vaccine uh, for children at increased risk to, in 9 to 23 months old really extended the age indication down to 9 months for children and adults who are at increased risk for meningococcal disease. So this includes children with complement component deficiencies, children who are traveling to areas uh, where meningococcal disease is highly epidemic or endemic, and um, children who may be part of a community outbreak. The one group of kids aged 2 to 55 years old who are recommended for meningococcal vaccine but are not recommended for it at 9 to 23 months are kids with fun functional or anatomic asplenia. And because of concerns with vaccinating with um, at the same time as pneumococcal conjugate vaccine, and because pneumococcal conjugate vaccine is uh, very important uh, for those kids as well, we're waiting to review more data on giving those two vaccines at the same time before we lower the age indication for kids with functional or anatomic asplenia. So what's the take home message for clinicians from today's vote? So clinicians who see children down to age nine months of age uh, who are at increased risk for meningococcal disease, uh, especially children with complement component deficiencies, including uh, C3, C5 through C3, through C9, properitin and uh, factor H deficiencies should give their children two doses of meningococcal vaccine, uh, three to three months apart, uh, as well as uh, children they may be seeing who are traveling to either the Hajj or to areas uh, in the world, including the Sub-Saharan uh, Meningitis African Belt. For Global Medical News Network, I'm Heidi Spleet.